What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Let me uh, let me back that microphone down a tad bit. So, hope everybody's doing well today. Let me go ahead and throw some shoutouts, man. It's gonna have uh, get crowded here already. Three minutes in, so Sunday night. So, I hope you guys are doing well, Mr. Husky Boy. Wolf love to see you, man. Big Steve got Lucy up in the house. Scott, what's up, man? The big Scott. Mia Carson, what's going on, Norm Grass? We can see, man. Greg, we are uh, at the place where all the trucks are up by the Kenworth uh, factory. Ghost Rider, good to see you, man. Curtis Tam, Jacob, good to see you guys. Mr. Ghost Rider, Mr. David, good to see you guys. And Mr. Zach Hall, it's all middle of time in here as well, so good to see you guys. Mr. Richard Davis, good to see you guys. Uh, we got Cuffs in the house. Durette Moncrief, Mon Moncrief, I don't know. Maybe I completely murdered that, maybe I didn't. Big ol' sub. Ooh, Davis, Davis. How are you, man? The guy with two first names. Alex, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Big Gamer J, good to see you there. Zoom all over. What's up, man? It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we got Roy in the house. We got Edwin. What's up, man? Drew, good to see you. RKP Garage. We got Jackson and McWhite. Uh, McWhiney. <laughs> McWhiney. Jake, what's up, man? How are you, man? Dread Game Stupid, what's up, man? John the Master, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Vondell, what's up, man? My day's been good, man. Hope you guys has been well. As, uh, Jacob, what's up, man? Mini King, Anthony Blair, what's up, man? Tyler Carter, what's up, what's up? Case Man 821, Mike Brown's good to see sponsors up in here as well. And special shout outs there to Mr. White Dragon, two months in a row, inclined, resubscribed there for three months in a row. So big uh, thank you there for inclined. And then Big Bear, thank you there for subbing as well, man. Uh, also, Case Man has just joined up and uh, for two months now. He's like, oh crap, I forgot to turn that off. I need to, need to, need to reimburse that from FTG. Yeah. Anyway, it's good to have you there, Case Man. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Devious 2 as well. UCD and Aaron Jantz both came members and Noah Spangler about 20 minutes ago. So thank you guys. I don't know if you're in chat, but if you are, there's some shout outs, man. Appreciate you guys joining up uh, and sponsoring the stream here. Uh, Key Hook, what's up, man? Chris, good to see you, man. Yeah, it's good to see the stream too, man. I'll sit here looking at it. Good, good to, good to be here, man. Well, thank you to Jacob. I appreciate it, man. Chris Smith, good to see, you, man. Key. Oh yeah, I said Key. What's up, man? Uh, the the back the back's good. Yeah, the back's good. 
<laughs> you don't need one this month. We'll see what you do, FTG. Maybe next month. We'll, we'll give you at least one more. Adam Robinson, what's up, man? How are you, man? Yeah, everything's good there, Mike. Everything's good, man. All right, zero seconds. Jacob, what's up, man? Derek Spopa gave it. Good to see you guys. All right, let me roll some beautiful bean footage. Adam S., what's up, man? Good, a, a few more shout-outs in here. Just going to be spectators. All right there, Brando. Hope you're doing well, man. <laughs> starting to get weird, Jake. Just letting you know, man. Starting to get a joke. All right, let's roll it. We'll see you here in 15, guys. All right, is it going to come through? All right, let me hang on. Let me let me res let me reset the game here. I thought I did this before, but I restarted it. Hang on, game capture. <laughs> Said now nah, we're gonna go back and read something else instead of ATS. All right, let's 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 do this again. There we go. All right, that happened the other night, but anyway, there we go. We're here. All right, what's up, baby Jesus? Four forty. What's up, man? Ski much? Good to see, you, man. Um, yeah, that's show time. That's right, man. <laughs> it's Budweiser time. Well, I guess if it's Budweiser time for you, there it is. Uh, let's see. Let me let's go go back in. Uh, go and give a good shout out here to all these guys. We got quite a bit. We got 30 plus here in the Discord with us, so maybe we'll have a few other guys tagging along with us. So first off, off the bat here, Mr. Superfly, Mr. 100 Redneck FTG Traffic Team. It's good to have a traffic team with us. Mr. Big Scott, Bike Man I7, Charlie Bennett Grace. Probably you guys are getting to know some of these names as well. They're here every weekend, so thank you there for their continued support. Cool Man 87 US. We got Dakota Ram 22, Mr. Farmer 12, 67. We got Jake Merrill. I hope that's or Jack Merrill. Uh, we got Jay Hustle Hard up in here. Jay uh, Just Z71. We got King Adam K and K 1957. One of our top guys there on the company. Koran. Uh, we've got Louie, a part of FTG, another top guy on the comp there. Mr. Billy Time 4 by 4 staff member extraordinaire. We got Mr. Uh, Mike Brown just snuck in right at the buzzer there. Ownership. Anderson Freight, good to have you guys with us there as well as uh, Retro Trucking. I saw one of theirs in here. Uh, we got Piblo in here. We got Psycho Riley, Soul Train, Thunderstruck, FP, good to see you, man. Ultronics, we got Venor Meg, we got Walker FTG, Wonder, Unit 20, part of Traffic Team. Uh, clipping out there. Holy boy, what's up, man? Outlaw Gaming Nation. Good to see you there. Zane Pennington. Oh, you got 100 in. Sweet. Beans. De, beans. De, 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 okay. Beans, what's up, man? Gordas 2016. What's up, Mini King? Good to see you guys. Uh, update the truck. Uh, if you can't. Andrew James, what's up? Lurking in the background. Dave Gaming, what's up? Also, Jim L. What's up, man? Hope you guys are doing well. All right, let's go ahead and start. Let's uh, check everybody's truck out here. And then we'll... Uh, and make sure uh, get my space in here so I don't get kicked. All right, let's get a good shot of everybody. All right, guys, how you guys doing? Tell them all, tell them all hey. Howdy, hey, how you doing? What's up? Hey, what's up? hey YouTube. Yeah. It's so nice for you all to join us. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at that. they're pulling in the nick of time. He's like, oh man. Party mode. All right, so there's everybody at least uh, stacked in here. We got one more coming in here. So, yeah, it is a uh, it's a crowd up in here. So we're going to need to pull on out uh, here pretty soon. So, anyway, y'all get things squared away. And, uh, okay, if you want to, man, you can either back up and you can pull over there in the Kenworth dealer. Or you can, some of this area over here is actually non. There you go. Pull in towards Austin there and then sneak in behind the traffic team and make the circle around the building. You'll have it, but. You'll be uh, jumped right in line there. And we got Nerd Nurse Miller Time. He is driving with us. Good to have Miller Time. I think I'll follow Mr. Miller Time out of here. Have y'all left yet? Yeah, we're fixing to pull out. Uh, just while you guys are getting staged up there. Um, so, uh, let you guys know we're going to be out of Seattle. We'll come down to five here, hit up on the 40. We're going to be stopping tonight in Flagstaff. So, we got a nice little, uh, about a 1,500 mile trip there ahead of us. So, we got a little ways to go. So, hopefully, we can uh, get out of here with relatively uh, no, no problems. Miners Miller, get me. Miss Miller there? I'm here. All right, you want to take off, man? I'll follow you out. Here we go. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 
we'll look at it. I tell you what, uh, there, Louie. Whenever you, whenever you get up there to the thing, go ahead and we'll pull over and just kind of get everybody collected on the uh, interstate again, like we normally do. And then I'll see if I can get my uh, my little dash thing working here. I just need to Ten reset it. Four. Yeah, I just need to reset it. which is pretty awesome man we're actually going to get the convoy in the daylight so like woo, i don't even know where to start on the excitement it'll probably start raining halfway on the trip don't jinx it man don't jinx it i'll it's take the rain over the darkness <laughs> no i started raining on me and it's raining outside <laughs> oh it's all right there black don't worry about it man hey i saw deuce up in here what's up man <laughs> What's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Alright. Uh, again, with, uh, we're just pulling, I believe, a reefer this week. And, uh... I was trying to be cool and get some like Kenworth parts and stuff in it, but we had to be uh, we had to be unexciting and put nuts in there. like that uh, are, are you still doing any uh are you still doing any of the oh what was it not the roller coaster one what's the um shoot. what's the other do you guys know what the big builder game was i just blanked out it was not city skylines but it was the other one what was it sim city no not city skylines but the other one that you could do all the cool stuff in <laughs> he's probably like it, it was, just tell me what it was you played, man. I'm totally just blanking out on that, man. Planet Coaster! Yes! Planet Coaster. Yeah, man. As I said. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I totally, uh, totally ignored that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he, uh... Yeah, Uther's the man on the Planet Coaster. I don't know if you're still doing that or not, man. They've been still doing... He just does a lot of builder games and... Um, some of those kind of over-the-top, you know, view down... I never, I liked them. I just never could get into them. But he's good at them, so check his channel out. All right, I'm just going to kind of pull the parking brake here, there, for the time. You guys, I'm not sure how far, how much more room we need here. Looks like we're done creeping up. All right, I'm going to reset my dash here and see if we can get this thing working. Going up on the side of the road? Uh, yes. All right. Yes, we are. All right, let me just reset it. I feel like I'll be naked without my uh, without my sim hub going. Oh, we do not want that. No, no, man. Nobody wants a naked FTG. No. Well, there's probably Whoa. some weirdo out there. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys pull up a little? Uh, if there's anybody behind me, you can cycle right around if you need to. I'm going to cut you guys up a little bit here in this Discord. They're a little quiet. Oh. Okay. Now we can... Alright, let's see if she works now. Interesting. Oh, she's still not doing work. All right. 
I know why it's not working, so I'll have to, um, oh, that stinks. I know why it's not there. Alright, so I'll have to move myself down here, which would be a little weird. Tablet side? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's, I, I moved my, um, I moved my ATS to my C drive. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've got to go in and I'm either going to have to start it back over. Actually, you know what, let me, let me just, I'll reset him up. This will be the last thing, and then if it don't work, then, then we'll just go on with it. It'll be all right. Rick Van, what's up, man? Oh, sorry, what was that? Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Um, sorry? I'm just at the end of the off ramp, and I know there's a bunch of guys behind me. You guys are probably going to want to pull forward when we start walking back. All right, yeah, I'm pulling up here. Just give me, just give me like another, just a minute. If y'all, uh, if there's anybody behind me, if there's a gap in there, if you guys need to pull over, that's fine. Um, but then I'll get, uh, all right, last time. I always hate this stuff. All right, I'll do some shout outs here. Oh, you says no, no time for YouTube. Yeah, I know, man. I, it's, uh, gets to be a lot sometimes. I know you've, I know you've been, uh, busy. I still follow you on Twitter and stuff. So I, I caught some, uh, some of the things here and there. So I can totally understand it, man. Yeah. All right. She's not going to work. All right, well, that'll be okay. Uh, it'll just have to be that way for this stream, and then I'll fix it up. Okay, all right. I'm ready to rock and roll. Oh, good there, Mike. Glad, man. Vondale, we are headed down to Flagstaff. Y'all said my mic was a little low. I'll bump it back up a hair here. Hey, Dave, man, I'm good, man. Hope you're doing well. All right. I'm joined back up here, so whenever you guys up there on the front, whenever y'all ready, let's, uh, uh... We'll be on the interstate, so let's go ahead and... I don't know. Let's go ahead and start up around 55. And, uh, you guys in the back try to keep up with that let me know when you guys get up here on uh, interstate and you feel like you've caught up with the group 10 4 we're gonna start cruise at 55 Lance not away what's up man great misfit yeah man it's daytime for Suit. And actually, it's only five o'clock. We still at least got three hours of daylight in the game, so I'm actually kind of stoked. And we are in the Kenworth 900 tonight. That's what we drive in tonight. are at 55 so you guys go ahead and some of you will probably feel like you're flooring it for a while but we'll, we'll keep it on 55 so y'all can catch up yeah no problem there Lance Wait, anybody can join man it, it's not uh, you know it, it, you don't have to be in the company man to, you don't have to do the company stuff just to do a convoy you can do it whenever you want to now we got our nerds in here with retro trucking and we used to have a couple of his guys come in and and Anderson Freight rides a few with us, so yeah, man. It's 
it's all good. Drive a Western Star? Yeah, we can do that. I've got a few Western Stars. Um, we've been doing some multiplayers, though. People have really enjoyed seeing the convoys. We did one last, uh, well, actually not last night, but Friday night. Uh, we did one on ETS-2, and it was really good. Uh, it was quick convoy, man. Everybody was driving like crazy. It was a, it was a good one. Zuma. Yeah, Alex, it's uh, yeah, it's quite different, man. We gave J. We are headed down to Flagstaff. How was that driving on the opposite side of the road? Well, we only did we did the the last trip. We went up to London, and I mean, honestly, once you do it like once, you just. Yeah, you just, I don't know, you just get used to it. I get it really, it's not as hard as you, it's not as hard as you think. <laughs> ah, you just gotta do it, you just gotta do it every now and again. Keep up with it. I'm putting almost, I'm putting double time in TS2 and yeah, I tell you the funny, the actually the, the kind of cool thing about ETS, I think, is, is doing the uh, actual pro mods through the through Ireland and, and uh, the UK. That's actually really nice. So, Caleb thirty two, Stevie, what's up, man? Nah, he did, Mike. <laughs> Stop there in the mid uh, mid lane. No one, you know what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Mini King, I, I I mean I do. I switch them up. Uh, we're in Kenworth right now, but yes, I do switch them up. weird without my dash man We're going to be coming down uh, with the 82 and then the 97 and then we're going to be on the 5 for a while and then we'll hop over through Bakersfield onto the 40. That's pretty much what we'll, that's what we'll be doing. How we doing uh, behind me? You guys, you guys catching up? I was mid pack. I seem to be rolling along pretty good. Okay. All right. All right, boss. We might have to switch places there, bud. Yeah, we good back here. Okay. I think it's good if you've got the live stream badge, you can hop in, man. Yeah, Judge, no ETS2 tonight, man. What highway are you on? We're on Interstate 82 right now. And 
we are uh, got our crew set up about 55 so you guys if y'all are uh, tailing in y'all still look you like you're hanging in back there I do, I do a lot of other racing and some uh, dirt rally and, and you know stuff like that. And so the setup's not just necessarily was never just built for trucking, uh, but it's of course it served the purpose for trucking. So um, still enjoy playing some of the other stuff, project cars too. The one thing I have not done yet that I plan on doing here pretty soon is uh, hopping into the flight sim and getting my controls set up on the flight sim, um, and that'll hopefully we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. Jody, what's up, man? Crazy Volvo Cool, what's up? DeAndre, good to see you, man. DJ, King Jeff, thank you there, man. Appreciate the sub. And, well, it's Big Bear. I think I got Big Bear there, but, uh, yeah, thank you as well. We will be taking exit 37 for 97. All right. Highway 97 is next. 9-3. see what our busiest city on the ATS is right now. Phoenix is fluid traffic with 20 people. It's not that it's blurry, um, Leonard. It's just that you're catching this one at a different angle. If I were to put the camera on the other side, the right one would look blurry. Um, the only way for me to fix that is to really pivot this this screen out, which I don't really feel like doing because I actually feel like the mirror is where it should be if you were sitting in the cab. Um, so that's it's clearly just looks that way because you're looking at the TV sideways. That's all. I think they're cold. Appreciate it, man. Like to me, it's just as clear as the other three. Somebody disappear right in front of my eyes. <laughs> uh, DeAndre, the the simple short answer to that is nobody watched it. That's the simple answer. Nobody on this channel wants to see anybody but trucking. And that's what YouTube puts me at. You know, it's just one of those things. Like um, all my videos come up to people that have watched American Truck or they watch ETS or something like. Yeah, something in that neighborhood. So it's just kind of the way it is, man. Big in the flu, man. Hi, Louis. That is cool. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. Let's um, let's back it down just a little bit here and gather all these guys up behind us. I think we're starting to run off with them. Got to the switch back, so we're gonna slow down. Yeah. yeah. Nine three. It's like, what do you mean, 9 3? <laughs> yeah, it still gets me every time. Well, thank you there, big gamer. Well, it's not just, uh, you know, it's 
and there's other tubers, man. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to get into a big, huge thing about it, but you know, you got 32,000 people that subscribe to your channel and 500 people watch you play Dirt Rally. Like, you know, it's just that kind of stuff. Like, a lot of them are either kind of like uh, legacy subscribers, like they don't even watch YouTube anymore, uh, and some of them might just be like they just like trucking, and that's all they watch, and that's fine. But that YouTube takes that into account too, so you know, nobody that likes Dirt Rally is gonna see like one of my videos. So it's just it's a tough market, man. There's a lot of people in a lot of different communities. I mean just sometimes it takes busting your way into a few things and getting lucky with a couple of really good videos that people kinda of like figure out who you are. So it's just one of those things, man. It's just kinda of like, you know, it's it's a sometimes it's a job. It's fun, it's a fun job. It's a job. Truck coming up north. All right. Two trucks. Brian King, what's up, buddy? I'm doing good, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Not a problem. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, man, I didn't think that guy was going to make it. did not think he was gonna make it. How I felt with the first one. <laughs> I was like, oh no man, he's fixing to take me out. I saw flashbacks the last week. <laughs> hey, of your racing roster, you ever do uh, F1 stuff? No, I, I mean, I have done it in the past. Um, we did we did a, like a, all of the F1 and the IndyCar stuff like through Project Cars too. We did a couple of, like race series and I did okay, um, but uh, I haven't done any of the F1 series stuff like 2019 or I did probably the last one I played was on console and that was probably 2017. Yeah, I'm trying to get myself into it. There is no, no such it's thing. Just take the race and I'll wait for someone to come past me for the free FTG team. <laughs> yeah, the unit, unit won that race last night. He left home and ride it off. How about just bump it back on the car? Unit 20 has that bottle of glass that he has in the back. <laughs> Yeah, he rode off into the sunset proud. <laughs> <laughs> With a big old thumbs up right outside the driver's window. He went out and bought him a checkered flag at all, did he? No, oh, absolutely. <laughs> he had it pre-placed right in his driver's seat. Just so he could just whip it right out the window and, like NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone do an official count truck wise when we left? Thank you. Hey, what's up there, Double? How are you, man? 
Good to see you, man. Yeah, if you guys are Discord, if y'all if y'all uh, get a little closer to your mics, because I think you're still a little quiet, I'll have to uh, eventually here. I'll have to cut you guys up, but if y'all are uh, if you want to talk, just kind of get up a little closer on your mic. One on coming. Have y'all made a defense yet? Uh, no. Not for me. Uh, yeah, Nobody we. Got them. Yeah, no, we still got a good ways to be in. FTG, I got a question for you. Yeah, man. Did you see that they're adding the Ford Explorers to the game? Is that for ATS? Well, Truckers MP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is that on the ATS side, I, I assume? Yeah. Well, I guess that'll be nice if we, got, uh, if we did the pilot cars and stuff. I wish you could... You know, like convoys, everyone likes to pull the trailer so they can, you know, get miles and stuff for the company and not necessarily just, like, drive a car. But it'd be kind of cool if you could have just, like, a like a construction sign or something, you know, like uh, just a caution sign rather than having to pull, like, a, you know, just, just something small that you can still get the, get the miles and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Those big convoy trailers, you know. Kind of neat. That would be awesome. The, uh, have any uh, timeline when they were going to do it? No, I just saw it in the events. They were showing it, showing up. Cool. Well, maybe some people out there on the stream heard that first here. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I didn't even know it was up. I didn't even know it was a thing. Michelin, they had a Michelin DLC. Did that hop into ATS? Nope. There's probably as there's probably well there's probably as many there's probably as many Michelin tires on the road as there are Goodyears. Yeah. There is unique marketing between the, two. It's the two big boxes. Yeah. Yes, I don't. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, it should. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it should. I just I don't necessarily know that it's that it's going to. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I mean, so I don't need anybody in, hang on a minute, anybody in stream. Got my, my chrome is all messed up there. All right, now we go. <laughs> like close enough on my green screen. <laughs> Boy, it's like a rough night for me, man. All right, it's good enough to let it fix it. Um. Yeah, I mean, you know, so we're running uh, ETS last night, uh, or two nights ago, Friday night, and uh, we still saw, uh, still saw some, quite a few trucks, probably more than we've seen here on ATS in kind of the prime time. But you know, it's like people kind of get, when I read the forums, you know, I mean, people on ATS get like really salty about the fact there's no events and stuff on here, but there's like 4,000 people on ETS this afternoon. It was like 150 some people in the queue waiting to get in the server, and I was like, "Man, this is crazy!" Because I've been like three events now to ATS's waiting traffic event, the big server. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah I've done only like three events. They had the race trucking, and there was another one where they hauled the uh, the Chrome trailers around, and they released the Chrome DLC. Yeah, and then you know, then they had the the Goodyear one. Man, those those events, dude, they're so much fun. Like, even if you don't like ETS, man, it's still freaking cool driving into a city and seeing, like, 30 trucks everywhere. I mean, it's crazy. 
yeah. and everyone speaking different languages. <laughs> yeah, I just have to turn the CD off. I, I can't take it. <laughs> At the time, I turned it down in ATS. <laughs> you never know what you're going to hear on ATS uh, CB. By the way, I'll cut it up a little bit. Usually keeps it interesting. Oh, where are we at now? Uh, don't know. Looks like we're fixing to get to Ben, so we haven't got there yet. But we're fixing to. Got about okay, close. Yeah, I got about thirty some odd in the convoy. We haven't done our official count. We used to do that somewhere at the first kind of like gather up when you know we're trying to catch up everybody, but we've actually uh, done pretty good. Man. Reaper, what's up? Jimmy, what's up? Yeah, man, glad you get a break to watch too. Appreciate that, Mr. Revere. Miles, what's up, man? Adam, we are, yeah, that's right, yeah, we're a little north of the end. Yeah. <laughs> Gave it with Reaper, what's up? Randall Weeks, what's up, man? the dash but yeah yeah we're in Kenworth I kind of honestly with uh, with the with this with the setup now I honestly like the Kenworth trucks the best the uh, the Peterbilt's have too narrow of a window and uh, it just it looks it looks funny it looks dumb so like I have to put myself so far up and all you see is like this little short hood on the screen I'm like yeah that looks kind of weird so the Kenworth I like it man it looks good radar Bend is uh, fluid with one player. Hey. We're just about to get hopping. FTG, I count 31 on the truck yet. On the okay. Bike. All right, 31 of the convoy. It's a good number. It's a good number for Sunday night. What's the maximum amount of truckers you ever got? Oh, I want to say that one was like. 46 or 7 that was probably two or three weeks ago uh, amazing yeah yeah I mean it's uh we have some big ones on here it's usually I probably we probably would have had close to that last night but I wasn't able to stream last night and um to reschedule a lot of people can't stay up till 11 or midnight at least here they can't stay up till midnight and get up and go to work in the morning so Hey Jesse, I'm good, and we are headed to Flagstaff. We're uh, just just passing through Bend now. So we'll be joining uh, 97. We'll be joining uh, Interstate 5 here in a little bit. So, uh, build and drive? Yeah, we might be able to work a build and drive in. I got a couple things this week that I do want to build up, and a couple things I do want to drive. So maybe we can just make that a two for a building stream. <laughs> no, no, nobody. Okay, all right. Sure. <laughs> What's up, Easton? How are you, man? DCC Trucky. What's up, man? Been a while? 
We love your building drive. <laughs> All right, it happens every stream. Yeah, I'm good, man. Now yeah, they're the they're my list populated. Think you guys must have called up there. good trick hope you're doing well man yeah he'll billy it's uh discords all of that stuff there is in the description so i got a couple things in there if you guys want to check some of it out please do uh if you are a pharmacist guy i have a i haven't really said anything about this but i do have a Toronto link down if you guys are looking for dedicated service to do pharmacy one um here i don't know hopefully i don't know i'd like to here in the near future uh we may make a little bit of return for an episode or two a week or something just uh, just a little something different uh, we, we spent quite a bit on uh, farm sim 19 uh, there for a while building up a brand new uh, big map on the server so there may be uh, opportunity for us to roll some uh, some new videos or some streams or something out on that on but anyway I've got that link in there Amazon links if you got anything through Amazon use my link go through it look at my store see what's on there especially if you're looking for gaming stuff it's a good way to support the channel and it doesn't cost you a dime uh, you, everything that I got on there is prime and pretty much everything that you see in the live stream minus like the rig the TVs and stuff uh, I don't have all of that on Amazon because you can't buy it on Amazon uh, but other than that man always the ASP button box I got a link in that and also a code if you guys want 10% uh, off uh, your own button box and uh, they got an assorted array of uh, you know face plates you can order but it's kind of cool if you get an F2G one a couple people already have so it's kind of cool to see uh, those guys actually, uh, you know, literally put the money where the mouth is. So appreciate that to all those that have uh, purchased one of our face plates and ASP butt box. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. So anyway, that's a plug as well as the Discord link. Everything's in there, man. Digital deputy, what's up? I was sitting there watching the truck. Yeah. Watching the convoy movie it reminds me of the old video game cinema. Which one? Oh, you mean the, oh, you're looking at the truck you have watching them go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like I'm with you now. That looks like Santa Pete. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who's shooting? <laughs> yeah, no, Easton, uh, I'm not. Uh, I am just uh, working hard on YouTube, man. Every bit of the YouTube money is going back into my setup. Computers, everything else, as well as other things that I got going on, so. Yeah, man, I work. I work for it. It's famous. Yeah, not really, but appreciate the compliment. <laughs> I will say it was in Walmart like about three, three or four weeks ago, and there was this. I was what younger kid, maybe older high school, maybe early college, maybe, and he kept looking at me, and I was I was sitting there with my wife and. I wonder if he knows who I am. <laughs> and then I kind of like walked by there and he didn't pay me no attention. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to get all excited and he's like, nah, I thought I knew that guy, but nah. Nobody I know. This is about to get awkward. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. He's going up and just ask him, hey, do you know me? No. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll see you later. Hey, mom, is that Elvis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good looking lift gate. Yeah, you like that? Here, we cut the high beams on that way you can see it real good. <laughs> Funny thing is, they're going to reefer on the front. Oh, you know what? I'll be honest, man. I actually uh, took the lift gate off of mine and put a chrome door on there because I figured somebody would call me out and scream about it. <laughs> Hey, FTG, you're not supposed to have that on a reefer. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> hey, 
Man, you guys are running smooth tonight. Yeah. Man, this last word. Yeah, don't jinx it. Yeah, shh, 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 shh. I better be quiet. Knock on some wood. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I probably would have been the wrong approach there, LHB. Davis, guy with two first names, we are. We just got left out of Ben, so whatever's next on the Klamath Falls, is that next? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, so we're about to be in Klamath. Yeah, uh, is everybody in the back? Do we have anybody that's just not. Uh, not with us or not tagging up but if you want to we can go ahead and push it up a little bit you guys good that good huh? i believe i'm in the middle of, i'm good okay all right as long as you can see a good stretch of trucks in front of you and you still got some in your rear view unless you're bringing the caboose up let's um uh i know we may have to deal with the city here Let's go ahead and let's let's uh, let's bump everything up to, to 50 if we can. Nine three. Yeah, well, we are coming up in here uh, to the city and way station and stuff. We kind of slowed down here in the last little bit. Mr. Dark Sun, how are you, man? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Davis, yes, we are still in Oregon for right now. Uh, Klamath Falls will be one of our one of our last stops. We'll be close to the border when we get to Klamath. Take an exit for Randy. All right. That was a very good route you picked, FTG. I really liked it. It's not yeah, that's a, um, well, the 97 was new. Um, it was new out of there. Um, so they, um, I think when they brought in, uh, I want to say Washington, but it's like they added that 97, I believe, and it kind of cuts around the main, so it's almost kind of like detour to actually take it. Uh, but yeah, it's a good road, man. It's not too crazy in its interstate, you know. I've, we've been doing a little bit later, a little bit, uh, you know, different on the convoys trying to take a country road here or there that will hit up some interstate when we kind of, you know, spread our feet out. I mean, spread our wings out and roll a little bit. Um, but yeah, man. Blocking out some people, man. It's Braxton, we'll see you, buddy. I know y'all think y'all are slick, but uh, yeah, Braxton, you're gone. Yep, you're gone. I think that would be Mr. Orange, and I think what's the other one? Y'all remember uh, what was the little little ten year old? What's his name? Cup Bear. I think that's who that is. Yeah, that was right. Cup. 
Hey, what's up, the digital thing, man? Appreciate it. Yeah, let's do a little log in, do a little moderating. That's all right. I got my phone now, so I can just stop popping cap. I didn't see it to you. I saw you with your phone. That's all right, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess none of the other mods can be bothered. Pow, pow. Take him down. Unit, sorry about getting in that uh, dispatch chat earlier. I was just amazed. Oh, you're all right. You're all right. Hi right, there, Colt. Have a good day. So, have any of you ever put your rain probability way low, and then somehow you just have a hurricane just blowing out your way? <laughs> yeah, I used to basically not have it on at all, and I somehow still would always be like streaming and driving in the rain. That was before like I realized how to use like the console to stop the rain and change the weather and speed up time. But yeah, it used to be when I first started ATS, man, I was like always driving in the dark or in the rain. But yeah, ever since I've figured out the rain probability and DEF cons, I don't have to, I don't deal with it too much anymore. I do, you know, I actually do enjoy driving in the rain a little bit every now and again, just for a change of pace. It's, it's good. What? That the sunshine doesn't work. Do what? Yeah, sunshine doesn't work. Yeah. Digital, we are hauling nuts. We got 37 of them in the gun, boy. <laughs> yeah. Hauling nuts? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're, we're hauling nuts in a reefer. Let that wash over you there for a minute. I'm not, I'm not sure which ones have to be refrigerated. I was trying to think 30, about that. 37? <laughs> Fixing to join up though, we're almost to Interstate 5. So, do you guys want to regroup when we get to um, get to Interstate 5? Uh, sounds good. Doesn't matter to me. And there is a fuel station here coming up. So, if you need to pull off and grab fuel, go ahead and grab it now. We'll line up uh, on the Interstate 5, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll take off. I'm about five miles. Yeah, we're coming south there, Davis. And you can wait on the side of Interstate 5, and we will just swing by. So be looking for us to come in your, uh, into your tab menu there. Take note that first station doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Yeah, well, they put two triggers. Can you like, come on. Two triggers. And some sense. of them... And some of them nuts are a little salty. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, we went there. All right, Thunder. Well, good, good thing, man, because we're actually just going to be hanging here for just a second to get everybody grouped back in. And...
everybody together and I'll do a nice flyby of everybody. You could probably hold it there, Louis. We'll see what we got. Dying three. Let me know if you make it onto the uh, emergency lane. Yeah, going on the overpass. Go up now. It might be enough, we'll see. Need a little bit more? About five more. Okay. Go ahead. Give us about five truck links there, Louie. Nine three. Give me a hole there till I'll jump in. Yeah, go ahead. We moved up quite a bit, so you guys should have an ample room, man. Hey, Beast, what's up, man? Thank you, bud. Appreciate that, man. I'm just gonna rest my bumper on the Miller's wonderful lift thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna make it weird at all. <laughs> so much love in the Beast. Always, Zero man. traffic on buses. I just counted the little blue dots on truck D. And there's 30. Let's try that again. Can't wait till I fix my uh, dash. I do feel naked without that thing on. All right. Let's see what we got here. Anybody, uh, just a weird thing, huh? anybody got, uh, anybody left, got any fuel left? You guys good. Sitting at three quarter tank. Okay. Did, uh, who, whoever was in the day cab, did you get, did you get your, uh, get your fuel? Yeah, I got my fuel. All right, cool. I ain't unlocked a sleeper yet. That's all right. All right. What are you hauling, Walker? Oh, hang on, I'll stop counting. One, two, three, four, six. Just got a white van, Walker. All right, Digital, have a good, buddy. Uh, no, Zach is not on. I'm on. Zach's not. There we go. Yeah, I'll go. Good, good, uh, a good bunch. Wait a minute. A good, good, good looking bunch of trucks. Yeah, there we go. A quiet, quiet bunch of trucks tonight. <laughs> I gotta say, it's, it's kind of unsettling. Y'all are so quiet. All right, we all ready to roll on? Sir. Well, it looks like everybody's ready. Yes, sir. Let's roll. The day that we get 300 people. I, I, I love this. 
Go in. All right. Yeah. Whenever Louis, go ahead and let's uh let's start 55 and let's see just see how everybody gets along, and then we'll uh if we if we can we'll we'll hop it up a little bit and get cruising here. Nine three fifty five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's been a long night. Yeah, I, I decided to move my screens around and I, I moved them back a little bit so that I could catch more of everything, and then I, I forgot that it zoomed out too far on my green screen. So I was like, oh man. And then my dash work was, uh, actually moved uh, ATS folders around and decided I was gonna put it back on my C drive. So then all of my uh, yeah truck books and all that crap just yeah, it's like oh crap, nothing works tonight. So. Yeah, so that'll be what I get get to do, and fixing the green screen uh, border will be one of those. What's up, Highland and Scott Page, good to see you, man. Davis, we just uh, got on the Interstate 5, man, so we're headed down Hornbrook, we're heading your way shortly. Just getting up to Reading right now, man. So you'll see us here in any minute. Bellingham's got 17, I would imagine. Hey, thank you there. New subscriber there. Thank you there. Beats TMP. Appreciate it, man. What? What do you got? All your folders are gone. Oh, man. Thank you, Thunder. Crazy man. All right, we're just pulling through. So if you're on the five, if you're waiting on the side, you'll see us. and he turned one drive off and he lost everything because it was all synced in one drive folders instead of like his desktop and documents and it was like he was oh, like wow. well, it's, it's all gone what it can't all be that's gone why, <laughs> that's why you that's why you, i did it with one drive Never a dull moment. <laughs> I use great yeah. All your mods profiles. Uh, do you don't have it by chance that a strike you need to use one drive, do you? drive if you don't know what it is then you probably don't have it it's just like you know windows backup you know it's like google drive except it's for windows except it's worse <laughs> it's the other google drive it's like the well i don't know how to say that it's the board stepchild yeah. the red and it's stepchild Justice 
says he loves it. I use it for very limited things. And that's just for the free online stores, and that's pretty much it. After that, oh, I don't like really compare. care. It's like comparing ATS to ATS. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. So Google was the media. The one that was the media. Hey, come on. What's up, bro, Game? Don't worry, man. That's what I was thinking, you. Wait, yeah, isn't my, the my, entire. My, my, Last couple of days I've been fighting with that uh, overwolf. <laughs> um Yeah, I can I can help you with that one man. You just, it's okay, you just gotta turn everything off, like all the overlays, you gotta turn the notifications, the you gotta turn all that crap off. Oh, I got it working now the the uh trucky overlay is working fantastic now. It yeah, is good. Me, yeah, it just took me a while. Like you said, I had to turn a lot of uh, uh, adware protection and firewall and all that off. Yep. Um, yeah, and I mean, honestly, man, it's, yeah, honestly, if you just, uh, I mean, if you, if you just, I don't know, it, it's one of those weird things like with PCs, like, depending on what you use the PC for, like, if you use it for everyday, like, work and email and all that stuff, sometimes you don't have a choice but to have some protection on there, but... I mean, I, I've got, you know, McAfee on here, but I mean, I, I don't even, it's basically stripped down. Like, I've kind of turned a lot of the stuff off because, I mean, this is all it ever sees is just the gaming part. So, um, you know, a lot of those things that people have problems installing them, I just don't know how to tell them to, you know, to help, help remedy the situation because I, I don't run all of those different defenders and, you know, adware protections except for in your browser. Hey, okay. Yo. The what now? The overlay. Yeah. How do I turn it to the mouse? Uh, let me see if mine's in mouse. You do that inside the uh, house. I don't do that. How about to say, yeah, mine's in kilometers. Or it's funny, use your indicator, man. You just cut me off. Yeah, you gotta do it. I prefer you guys using it. Look at that, Justin. We are coming off in the break session. Still like at 55, 56, 7, so if you keep digging, man, you're Is gonna anybody catch from it. the traffic you mean? You got a guy coming up on your left, FTG. Oh, yeah. Is anybody from the traffic team in this UV channel? Thompson, yeah, man, we got uh, 30, uh, 32 or 3 with us tonight, something like that. So, Pro Game and World of Trucks is, um, World of Trucks is nothing more than like a, a service you have to have an account with and you get no, Truckers I MP. Was why you were uh, Truckers MP is the actual service that Thank grants you, you um, actually grants you the uh, ability to use the multiplayer side. Um, so it's the multiplayer cloud. World of Trucks is just something that you can link your accounts up with, 
keeps up with all kinds. You can have custom tags, two world trucks. It basically keeps up with your loads and also allows you to do external contracts. So world of trucks is kind of like something. It's just like a, it's almost like think of it as just your trucking profile. Truckers MP is what actually allows you to do this stuff. Uh, yeah, Davis, man, we, we called it. You can still drive and, and, and catch up, man. We, we went through Reading and called it out a couple times, man. I mean, I never saw you sitting on the side of the road. Hey, Dwayne, what's up, man? Oh, one drive. Thunder, you might want to check your one drive, buddy. You might want to log in if you're still in uh, stream. You might want to log in and see if that documents and all of that stuff is in your OneDrive. Because that's what happened to Warboy. We had to take all of that stuff off of OneDrive. Ultronics, let me know, man, if you uh, if you catch back up in this in this area. If you catch back up with the uh, convoy. Oh yeah, I'm in the midst of everything right now. Okay, all right, cool deal. And for those just joining us, if you are just joining us, uh, we are on our way to Flagstaff, just uh, now driving through Sacramento. So we've got about 30 to 35 in tow. So thank you there, Brian King. Appreciate it, man. Knew that was a little different. Uh, it was that $5 there from Mr. Brian King. Thank you there, man. Appreciate that, Brian. Yeah. Always appreciate it, my bro. Yeah, Thompson, man, if you've never done multiplayer, dude, it's cool. Um, it's all default. Now, you don't have to deal with any mods, which some people like. Um, you just kind of get in the truck that you do. It's all default stuff, and you just get out and drive. VTCs, you got virtual, virtual trucking companies that you can join up as well and kind of um, log miles with them. So it kind of attaches itself on the back end and, of uh, ATS, and it's pretty cool. A lot of people uh, run truck books. That's what it's called. What's up there, B9 Bot? How are you, man? Sorry, they stopped and I'm still bad. You've got an accident. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-oh, how bad a one is it? A hazard style. We'll stay on five all the way down to Bakersfield. Yep. Mine rerouted for some reason. Uh, I noticed, you know, I don't know if you, any of you guys had this uh, this issue and stuff, but um, every now and again I have that issue whenever I make my route up and then I leave out of the game and then come back into it. And then it'll basically reset my route every single time. Yeah, and I checked the waypoints before I got in, but apparently it wasn't the right way. You know, sometimes, like, it'll have you just, like, shoot off the exit and get right back on the own ramp. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I had that from the very beginning. Of yeah, yeah. Five. Yeah, I'll throw you for a loop, man. If you see the guy in front of you dive off the... You see him dive off the thing and then come shoot up the other side. It's actually pretty cool if he does it and, and he doesn't even lose his spot. It's pretty cool. 
Yeah, so are if you guys are... Up at Stockton? Uh, no, we, uh, Bakersfield will be the next, will be where we stop off. We'll stay on the five all the way down. And then we'll hop over, uh, Bakersfield. Ten four. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, Alex, if you guys want to know what this up, uh, here is. So that is, um, the Truckee app, uh, Truckee Bot. And it's an overlay that Truckee, if you don't know if you're familiar with it, but it basically gives you a lot of, um, gives you all these server info, traffic info for ETS and ATS. Now, it's a lot more, um, it's a lot more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's got a lot more going on on the ETS side. Um, you can report traffic jams, you can report all kinds of stuff, and then if you have it pulled up and active, then you can have it uh, display those traffic alerts in. So if you're coming into an area, it'll say, you know, moderate to heavy traffic reported ahead, um, you know, to kind of let you know what's coming up. So it's kind of like the Waze app, uh, if you're familiar with that, with the iPhone and stuff. But this is just letting me know how many players are in the top city. So right now it's telling me Phoenix is uh, fluid traffic with 15. Vegas has got 14 dudes in it. Uh, Fresno's got 10 and so forth. So, yeah, those numbers are a lot bigger when you look on the ETS side. There's a lot more traffic and a lot more cool stuff going on that. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's not too bad. I like it. Just a little bit more, a uh, little bit more fun. Hey, I'm just a man. I, I can't hear you. I, I need to turn you guys up in Bakersfield. Okay, what'd you say? How much of a dis dif difference does a steering wheel make? Yeah, so I mean, it's like anything else. Like, imagine trying to drive your car with a, a mouse or a keyboard errors, you know? Like, I mean... I need a controller. Yeah, controller's not bad. I mean, there's nothing wrong with controller. It'll feel like, you know, a, a slower paced racing game. Um, but if you're, you know, if you've got, um, if you've got a wheel man, like any of these games, plus racing games, they just feel a lot more realistic. Especially if you do the, um, if you get a shifter eventually one day, um, and the shifter adds a whole new dimension to the truck game. So, but I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a huge, a huge race. It's a night day. Yep. Another accident. Back on the, on the on -ramp. That's pretty much all I play, Jalen, and that's what I'm playing right now. That's pretty much the only game I play. Every now and again, we'll throw some ETS, some sprinkling, some new games, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much what we do. And I don't stream on Mondays, so it'll have to wait till Tuesday. Normally, I don't stream on Sundays, but since we uh, had to call off Convoy, I was like, well, we, we still got to do it on Sunday. Got to catch it up. Um, so I don't really talk about the setup, Justin, uh, just because um, to a lot of people who just kind of come off as bragging about it. Uh, it's been a building process. So, I mean, you know, <clears throat> start off with this and then you work a little bit and you buy this and you add this to it. So the only difference is, <clears throat> is I knew where I wanted to go with it. And that's kind of what I continually work for. So I started out buying a computer that was, um, you know, that was hefty enough to be able to run all of this. Um, and then, you know, went into, uh, there was, I did go to the G29 just to kind of get my feet wet with steering wheels. And then, like with most things, I kind of wanted more. So then I got shifters, and then we started adding a few other things, and I looked at rigs, and then TVs. But honestly, I paid less for these three TVs than most guys pay for their, you know, 24 inch or 27 inch monitor. Uh, you know, night, you know, just a, an HD LED monitor. Um, you know, so I found all three of these things on sale. So I was willing to wait and be patient and find the best deals for some of the stuff. Um, and that's kind of how I've collectively put it all together. So it's not like I just kind of went out one day and just went on a shopping spree, which is, I think, what some people think I did. And I've been building this, like, this setup for, you know, close to a year and a half now. 
<clears throat> Robert, North Carolina man. How we doing in the back off that wreck? I was trying to give you guys a chance to catch up. Y'all, y'all, y'all called it's up. All clear now. We're all clear. We're rolling. All right. Uh, let's go ahead there, Mr. Louie, and let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's bump things on up. To, uh, let's go and get things up to 60, 65. You can call it. 9365. All, all right. right. Guten Tag, Benson man. Benson mom. It's my good dog. How are you, man? Hello from Germany. Uh, yes, Robert, I do, but I moved all of my if all of my uh, uh, moved all of my stuff, man, over to my C drive, um, and then kind of reconfigured ATS, and yeah, so I didn't get all of my telemetry stuff back in like I thought I did. I kind of forgot about a few things, so by the next stream, the telemetry will be back up, man. Just uh, had a little bit of a lapse in memory tonight. <clears throat> Is that Lipe Gameplays? What's up, man? I do not drive trucks in real life. There's no way I can do that in real life and they come and then do it on the game. Ain't no way I can do that, man. <laughs> not bad. I can't remember the rest of it. I used to know a little bit of German. I used to, because I used to do a lot of ETS. So I actually learned like a Polish hello. I learned a Dutch hello, German. Uh, what was the other one? Um, Hungarian, because for whatever reason, Hungary, a bunch of people from Hungary and Germany, Amsterdam, um, and Poland I used to come to my ETS live streams like way back in the day. So it's kind of, kind of funny. Yeah, man, it's dude, it's cool, man. It's my my two favorite pieces. It's for what's up, man? It's you gotta tell me, man. Did you catch our ETS live stream on uh, Friday, man? We actually did an ETS uh, little truckers MP, man. living well in my other at least part-time job I'm a uh, at least to share the parenting news with the wife so we trade off between the kids and keep them uh, throughout the week um, saves on daycare child care all that kind of stuff but aside from that I am the worship pastor at my church so I do all the music and lead all that every week and then I do this on the side and then I work and doing a little bit of uh, woodworking and some other kind of random stuff that I do sell um, and uh, create like a lot of harvest and farm tables, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mess around with wood, like actual, you know, legit, legit stuff. So not just kind of going and buying some two by fours at Lowe's. But yeah, but it's it's uh, it's good, man. So I put all three of them together. There you go, man. That's me. That's correct. Yeah, you're good. Now, what kind of a USB do I use? Um, so, I don't use any USB stuff anymore. I used to, uh, but I have since bought a, uh, I bought two 3.0, because my, my slots in the um, computer are five, so I've got five PCI Express slots. Um, so, I've got the 1080 Ti in one, and I've got the uh, 1060, which is running all the stream stuff got it in one and then I've got two USB 3.0 cards so I'm actually running all of my USBs plugged directly in so the Bay game plays thank you there appreciate it man thank you there bud thanks for the sub 
<laughs> yeah, Justin, I, I can, man. Is that 1060 holding up for your stream? Yeah, I had has no problem. Um, a lot of the problems, man, is the bottleneck in the CPU, which is pretty typical. Yeah, true. I was gonna say the GPU probably gets like maybe a five percent gain. Yeah. Yeah, man. Will Isler, thank you, man. Appreciate the sub. Thank you, guys. Yeah, but I mean, dude, I, I as long as the CPU and the and the 1080 don't get like bottlenecked into some kind of weird funky game. Um, the ones that are still tough are like the racing games. They're still tough to do all three plus process both. Just most people that do it on on three, man. They most of them have a secondary PC that they yeah. You get the on. high frame rate, that's you got to go from secondary computer. That's right. Yep. So um, it's kind of like a yeah, kind of a half and half. Dirt Rally is probably one of the better ones. Yeah. It's probably the least demanding out of all of them. But yeah, man, it's 60 dude. It, it, it has no problems processing everything. I mean, I can throw in a, a pretty good hefty stream at it. I can record at uh, 16,000 bits. Um, I can record at 16,000 and it not even cough. Nice. That's what I was using before I changed out and upgraded. I was using the 1063 gig. Yeah, it's good, man. I like it. But, you know, now like the RTX, the RTX cards actually have all that encoding built in on it. Yeah, that's what I upgraded to doing the 2060 RTX. Okay. It's my touch feeler because he's hot tonight. See ya. <laughs> we got a truck coming up too. And of course, I did that wheel upgrade and all, but we wouldn't know about that. Damn. <laughs> special extensions for the feet for my desk. Oh, gotcha. The way my desk setup is, it doesn't clamp right, so. Oh. Some custom printed extensions over here tomorrow, hopefully. Nice. Nice, man. All right, so whoever's bringing up our, uh, whoever's bringing up our rear there, make sure, let That's me know. Me. When you okay, let me know when you get on the 58. All right. All right. Don't do it. Trying to catch up. It's all right. Well, I'm bringing up the last one. Okay. We are just now getting into it. Are you at 20, right? Yep. So you still got time, man. Oh, which one do I prefer? Probably would prefer John Deere, but Tractor Supply had a deal on the hat, so I bought a hat. And I didn't like their John Deere ones. They only had a black one. I wanted a green one with the yellow text. They didn't have that. They were sold out. Of course they were. Guy coming up. steering wheel or use keyboard or gaming pad does anyone actually use the brake or they just use the jake brake to slow down i use the brake when i did i used the brake yeah 
And typically, I, I use a lot of the regular brake because the Jake brake in these some of these default trucks is ridiculously loud. I use all three. I use Jake brake, brake, and regular brake. I try to just stick to the Jake multiplayer because you can kind of get a chance. Oh, you got to take you. Pass me on your left, Jeff. Yeah, oh, yeah, you learned myself using a lot of Jake's. Yeah, we'll make it through this stinky part here once we once we uh, get ready to get locked back up on the. <clears throat> once we get locked back up on the uh, which we call it the forty, we'll kind of let it roll again. George, Looks like everything's going pretty smooth. Yeah, it is going good. Minimal, minimal uh, damage tonight. Different nice. than a Sunday, different than the Sunday crowd, I guess. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, man. And fortunately, I was working on the, the trailer to get ready for camping, and I totally spaced it, but today was Sunday, and we moved it. Oh I don't see the trip marker, how much more you guys got left? Um, 400 miles, 440. Nice. Come on, Austin. You're doing quite a bit of rubber banding, man, to hop in front of the, uh, in front of the lead pack, man. All right, it's for have a good one, buddy. Good to see you, man. As always. All right, pro. Have a good man. <laughs> so you didn't see my cat? Oh, oh no, I, yeah, I didn't hear that. I turned the CB down. Oh, no, on your, your street chat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that a multitasking mushroom? Is something or... <laughs> what did that 
tells the voice to text or not, but uh, you know. <laughs> We'd emerge um, from two lane to one lane. Yeah, devil, we are, man. 40 to Flagstaff. Depending on how many uh, guys kind of tagged along there. We got a good, good crowd, man, for Sunday night. Good crowd. Hi. Yeah, maybe B9. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious we, we got uh, we got a, we all have ATS. All right, left lane to Barstow, guys. Left lane to Barstow. Outside to Beatrice. You're good. You're good. Freedom Fighter, what's up, man? Fighter! Sorry, Freedom Fighter. <laughs> I remember. See you, man. Yes, man. We're all not going to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Monday morning. I guess people just try to enjoy the lag. I wasn't happy that you didn't 
Yeah, so let's listen to some smooth jazz. You gotta be kidding me. I ran out of fuel. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. <laughs> Including me. I've done it before. And I'm about to be kicked because my head lights. Slow down, brother. Slow down. Stop. Slow down. Stop. 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 It won't kick you if you're not moving, you don't have to get last. Yep. Why would you not move and get one? Did you just tell the train to go ahead? <laughs> Squid, what's up, man? station on the way. Zoom your map out and then you know double check. If we come across Louis, we can yeah. If we got some guys need to pull over and grab a grab a guzzle or two so we make it there, it's fine. Lance, what's up, man? Red Dawn. Uh, actually, yeah, there is a there is a gas station on the way. Just flies there. Yeah, but I don't want to go I'll make it. All right, Mike, Mike, good man. Ten four there is a guy a uh, fuel stop that we can stop at. I have like one ninety miles until I'm out. Okay. Yeah, just just take the whole convoy, just pull through. You don't have to fill all the way up, just grab you in a half tank and then we'll just keep all your we'll put out. More than ninety five. Yep. same mileage but it won't be affected by how you drive the truck True. yeah so if you drive you know if you drive with your foot on the gas the whole entire time then you won't get any big ass mileage so basically say it if it gives you 600 miles you're always going to have 600 miles but if you drive your truck really rough with it turned on then if you're going up a hill then you're going to use more fuel than you would if you were going downhill the other way, it's just a straight 600 and that's all you get. So there's no way to really conserve it, but you don't lose it either. So it's kind of like a, you know, it's a, it's a catch-22. Oh, I had what about hauling? Uh, yeah. 32 nuts. I was, I think we hauling checks. Put them in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good night then. Yeah, we won't be going through the coma tonight, man. Uh, we're already way out of that. Alright, peeps, the uh, fuel stop is coming up here on the right. Trans Energy Gaming, what's up? How are you, man? Oh, yeah, I forgot what I was doing. What the hell's 
the uh, how's the kiddo? Man, yeah, things good, man. Things good. good. I'll get out. Uh, yes, it's so. Do what's that? Slamming all the brakes. I'm having to do the emergency refill things. Uh, wait, how do does those work? Uh, hit F7 and then choose emergency refuel, and it's like uh, how many gallons to give? It's like 14. like 14 gallons, and it's it's the crazy expensive though. It's, it's like 335 dollars. <laughs> That's enough to fill, fill me up. Scott's uh, pump. Heard it pumps quicker, so I'm gonna hop in behind him. It's pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Red Dawn, nah, man. I do a lot of racing and do a lot of other en enjoyment type games and stuff just for myself. Uh, it's just uh, I happen to be streaming the truck and stuff through it, but yeah, I do a lot of other stuff on it, man. I gotta say the workflow in this this is pretty nice as well. I like that video you put up the other day with the dirt rally. That was pretty cool. Yeah, man. It's um, it's good, I and mean, all the racing games are. They're all they're all killer in this uh, in this format. I love them. Yeah, I mean, I've, yeah. If you need it, if you don't need it, don't worry about it. All right, Louie, if you want to go ahead and start putting down the road, let's uh, let's just keep things at. Uh, Keep things a little bit slower here at the beginning and kind of let everybody get get called in here. 9-3, gonna cruise at 30 miles per hour. All right, y'all hear that? We'll pull in, you'll have plenty of time. We're only gonna just cruise out 30. See, Mr. Uh, Nerdbite showed up tonight. Yeah. I know, right? Well, that's an interesting paint scheme, Miller. Thank you. That looks pretty cool. So, last minute change because I had all the NASA stuff on it. That's right, the, that and the, the new dangly thing that hangs from the rear view kicks you out, huh? I think they fixed it last time. Yeah, they fixed it. Oh, nice. Have they, have they fixed the triple trucks yet, or no? No, the triple trucks are no. flying around. Oh. Yeah, they, the ETS has got an issue with the uh, the Goodyear. I put the I had the Goodyear paint scheme and all that crap. I had got me a couple trucks all squared away, loaded in the I TMB, and it was like, eh. yeah, yeah, you got an unsupported line that kicked me out. I was like, what? Come on. <laughs> well, then I guess uh, in your stream over there on Friday that I was watching, um, all the trucks were white. Apparently, they had the Goodyear paint scheme. You couldn't see them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for whatever reason, I, I guess it was a last-minute add-on, and then just TMP couldn't, they couldn't get everything synced up. I don't know why, but uh, but yeah, they, they couldn't get it synced up, so they just wound up, everybody just went in with white trucks, if they had, um, well, not white trucks, if they had a DLC. Um, yeah, like, if they had already bought the DLC, then they could have a Goodyear paint scheme, if they bought it early. But you couldn't on there, um, and then even the external contracts wouldn't even, didn't even show up, so. Wow. 
yeah, it was kind of like, yeah, it was kind of lackluster band. I was expecting everyone to be like, you know, rolling down the road with Goodyear trailers, and it was like everybody had white trailers. I was like, well, this is very yeah. unexciting. <laughs> Uneventful night for color. Yeah. Yeah, normally it'll tell you if you don't have the DLC whatever plastered on the side of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you don't have it. Yeah, that's what I mean, man. It had to be, uh, it had to be just some kind of a, like, work, quick work around. Yeah. Alright, how we doing back there at the, uh, fuel station? I just, I just got out of it. Yeah, everybody should be going. Okay. All right. We're still just kind of putting down the road, so you guys got plenty of, uh, let's go ahead and hop on it. This is the, um, this one right here is the TSPC Thrustmaster. It's kind of like their, their upper line. Um, absolutely wonderful wheel. If you can, if you can stomach the, the pay for it, um, suggested is buy a, buy a, buy a wheel that gives you something, because they have a couple different versions of it. Um, so buy the wheel that has your wheel on it, and then, and then try to catch it on sale. You can get another wheel like I did for uh, a lot off. That's what I did. Hey, what's up, Jeff B? Good to see you, man. Jeff B's sporting a, uh, almost probably getting close to a two-year badge on there. So thank you there for Jeff's continued support all the way back to Gold Rush, I believe, where I met Jeff. Been a long time, so I appreciate it, Jeff, as always, man. Stopping on the bridge. We're stopping? I was waiting on someone to hit me. <laughs> Thank y'all. Whoever's by me. <laughs> Bike man ate his reflex weedies tonight. We <laughs> don't need to get more grips. Like everybody's right on top. Yeah, Gold Rush has been a long time. That game's still kicking, man. It's got a it's got a base of players, man, that are just diehard on that game, man. But, I mean, to be fair, though, to be fair, it's the only game that you can actually like dig and dig and dirt. It's actually a pretty fun game. Yeah, it, it was. I got tired every time I'd figure out how to do something really cool. They changed the game around. I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that does get annoying. Yeah. I had some good videos, man, of doing all these cool, like, uh, building all these cool terrains and stuff and, you know, cool things. And, yeah, no, no. Hey, we changed the bulldozer. Hey, that's great. Yeah, it's like, thanks for changing it. didn't need to be changed. But, hey, that's great. Right. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, we still get fixed the building problems two years ago. In case it still happens. Uh, and still, and still no console. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no problems. Oh, man. Uh, and I, yeah, the consolers are never going to get that game. <laughs> yeah, Ranch. So Ranch, this one was not a thousand. Uh, Fanatex are a thousand. Yes, this one not. Not if you get the TSPC. Uh, there was a limited edition one that had a red cover. Um, but uh, yeah, honestly, dude, yeah, you don't need the red cover. Um, but I think this one was like 
449-ish, I think, 479-ish. Um, and every bit worth the money, man. Every bit of it. You're playing dirt rally, man, if you're not careful, like, I'll put it this way, my daughter was wanting to drive it, and I told her I was going to go zero out of the force feedback. And, um, she says, well, I wanted to bounce a little bit. I said, no, you can't, no. Because, I mean, if I'd have left it on there like that, it would have snapped your wrist. Has that much force in it, though? Yeah, it does. I hit some of those things, like, if you see me on there, you see me, like, you see the wheel twitching back and forth? That's the wheel doing it, not me. I'm not... I'm not playing for the camera at all. Oh, dang. Oh, Feels good. good. <laughs> yeah, Mikey's the suck is not multiplayer. Yeah, never has been and probably never will what? at this point. What's that, what's that program you use for it to fight back against you like that when you're still? Say, uh, what's that again? You say your steel wheel is fighting against you. Because uh, that's the way it is. Like it's in the racing sim Yeah. So is that is that just a part of how the steering wheel works? The program in the steering wheel, or you added that program? Not the. Uh, yeah, the force feedback's just that tough. Yeah, you can control it inside um, inside the uh, the joystick files inside the regular like PC. There's not like a secondary program. But yeah, man, it, it's tough right from the start. So it's like the Logitech G29 software, the same type of method. It has its own base program you can control all that with? Yep. Oh, yeah, nice. you could change the rotation, um, all that kind of stuff on it. But honestly, most of the games, you just kind of balance out the force feedback inside the games and it'll save it. Do I know any of the CB radio mods? So, Jake, there is a way, and and depending on what you want to do or how you know how clever you are with some of the stuff, man, you might be able to just add your own. Um, you can open up that file and actually add your own CB files if it's like an internet streaming, you know, radio station or internet streaming podcast. I mean. It could be anything from like your favorite news station that's streaming and stuff. Um, the same thing, man. You can put that in. It's a little line of code. It's really simple. You can add your own radio stations into your file. And I'd, I'd have to go back and look, but if you Google that, how to add your own, you know, radio music to ATS, I guarantee you you'll find somebody that's done a, done a video on it or something. Yeah, I've actually found three or four of them, and yeah. I have my entire. Uh, Music file on my computer that I listen to in ATS. Yep, that's pretty cool. pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I okay. lost mine. I I built one up a few. It's probably been a few months ago. I built one up and then I lost it. Oh. Yeah, because I was going to try to find some like copy, no copyright stuff that I could actually put into ATS so that I could just play it straight out of here instead of the copyright stuff. Mm. Instead of having to run it out of YouTube secondly, but yeah, I lost all that. So I just never. Ow. Never, uh, never got around to put it back in. What's up there, Kenny? I did a virtual truck company. The, the what? A virtual truck company. The mine? Or just... I, no, he was asking, uh, how does a virtual truck company work in general? Oh. Um, pretty much like a regular one. I mean, it, you know, you've got guys in trucks, they drive cargo, they drive all the other stuff all over the place. They can pick up loads from anywhere, and then when they deliver those loads, it keeps track of it in the game, and then logs all your miles. Um, so at least our company, it's got profit that we've made, pounds that we've transported, and miles that we've driven. And it keeps them all in a hierarchy of our leaders, so you've got all kinds of statistics you can gather from it. So, I mean, it's pretty much, I mean, it's like a trucking company it's just virtual you know it's just pretend and everybody wants to be in FTG's company yeah it's uh, I guess we're over 200 now and most of them are active I th oh I think it gives you a um, I think it gives you a, a month grace to get your miles up 
miles count too? Not for ATS, but yeah, you can drive ETS miles for us, it'll, it'll still count. Today's on Where are you guys at right now? Guys, you're on a hill. Watch your brakes. I had a little accident too. Less than 44 seconds away from uh, Black Death. Oh, nice. Black Death, man. A little bit of traffic in there. Black man, that's completely impossible if you can hear me on the CB. I like what you did there, FTG. There you go, buddy. Look at that, man. What's this one? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> I saw that pop up, I was like, oh, what's that in there? He said, by FTG, I was like, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Flagstaff, so we'll just, you know, guys clear it up and we'll see in Flagstaff. Oh. Is that your final destination for tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's clear. Yeah, because it's a uh, 12 for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we actually got started pretty decent time, so we're still two hours, ten minutes. I'm 
think we would have started at 10. You guys were too rough. Hey, White Lion, what's up, man? So, Mama let you have the tonight, huh? Talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There it goes. <laughs> Didn't want to change gears. Jeez. Miller, I definitely like the color. That's definitely interesting. Pretty orange. Yep. Black smoke and a little red accent. Are we meeting up? Train, train, train. train. <laughs> Somebody go, 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 go. Where in Flagstaff are we meeting up at? Um, at that little gas station. Traffic, cane, kicker, uh, mobile barriers. Oh, the, the gas station that we met up at last night? 10 4. Alright. I know it's where that is. Big. It's not that big one. It's the big one. We're going to try to talk to Air 15 and it's going down to the truck. Jake Brown, uh, North Carolina, so it's 12:20 here, August the 5th. All right. Wait, if yes. You're in North Carolina? Yes. Oh, I'm in Virginia. Oh, okay. I'm in That's where my mom's from, Virginia. Yeah, just a hop, skip, and a jump. I guess it may be called the, the tail end of the fence, but it didn't hang on to it. Hmm. All right. Oh, boy. Hmm. Should have came around the other side. Well, that sucks. Come on. Thank you there, Jeff B. Appreciate that, man. Thank you as always, Jeff, man. It's a uh, joy the stream as usual. Thanks there. Big $20 super chat. So very appreciative of you there, Jeff. It's awesome, man. And sponsored for almost two years. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Let's see if I can actually get this trailer turned around. I don't think I will be able to, but we're going to try it anyway. No. I'm gonna have another idea. JB came through time. Yeah, he did. He's been hanging, he's been hanging out, waiting on that one. <laughs> Let's try this again. Should have known that. It's not like this is my first rodeo on ATS. It, it wouldn't be so bad if they didn't have these uh, these loading ramps in here. What, did you get spoiled by ETS already? Oh, yeah. 
Sorry, I couldn't turn the yacht around. <laughs> I will say that the, the picture quality of ETS versus ATS on your streams are just... Oh, they're nine day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're nine day. Dude, I can but, run ETS. I mean, I can run ETS almost ultra res on three or four hundred percent scaling, and then stream it also. ATS, I feel like you can get half that. Wow. And it, it doesn't matter how much you add to it. Like that's the kind of the big thing about it. No matter how much you add to it, it still sure. looks choppy. It looks cartoonish. Yeah. Well, it's like it's uh, well, it's like it's overexposed, and the colors are way too like. Colors are like way too defined, and they just don't look that way in ETS. They look, they look, they look nice. Yeah, your your setup definitely shines on ETS a lot better. Yep. Yep. Sure it does. Oh, Fayetteville. Okay. Yeah, not too close to me, but yeah, Fayetteville. It's it's a nice little area down there, man. Been through that way a few times going down to the North Carolina beaches. There we go. Alright, we, we got her in. Wasn't pretty, but we got her in. That computer sounds like a jet engine. <laughs> Tip <laughs> takes the easy way. Yeah. Now uh, people in stream would get mad at me if I took the easy way out. <laughs> yeah. Do you play on? Do you, do you play on any other console? No, no, just PC. That's about all I have time for now. Used to play on PS4, but not anymore. I've sold that one. So, uh, yeah, I was late. I was really late, Anthony. I actually had that load since uh since yesterday's live stream. <laughs> It's the same oh, load. It's like a day and a half late. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, well, that's going to be it for us, man. That's good. Uh, two and two hour and 20. You got 1,500 miles in the bank. So that was a, a really good one. So let me throw and read out some, uh, read out and shout out some names here. So first off, thanks there again to uh, Mr. Jeff B. Appreciate it, Jeff, as always. Um, and also Mr. Brian King for donating five. And he says, thank you again, FGG. And for all of Mr. Rudis' trucks running great. Well, good, 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 good deal. He's talking about uh, John Rudis. Uh, we did like the Freightliner and the 389, all those. So he's gotten some of those. So thank you there. Appreciate that, Brian. Uh, and as well. So anyway, let's uh, let's give some shout outs. So Superfly, 100 Red Day, Big Scott, uh, Bike Man I7. We had Elu uh, coming to hang out with us. Wasn't driving, but he hung out. Mr. Farmer, 1267. Thank you, buddy. Mr. J Hustles, just a Z71. Uh, King Adam K and K 1957 Coron. We had uh, Louis Mike Brown and Mr. Miltime, Pivlo. We had Psycho Rowley, myself, Soul Train, Ultronics, Walter, uh, Walker, FTG, Unit 20, and quite a few others, but they kind of dropped off along the way. Uh, it's Sunday night, and people got to get up and go to work. So um, thank you guys, at least, especially if you guys have to get up and go to work and you're staying up late to do this. I appreciate it, guys. So uh, I will tell everybody bye, and then you guys can say it all with me. So uh, thank you guys in chat. Thank you there for, oh, Mike Brown, not one, no one trolled. That's right, man. We had, uh, we did. Did have a beast TMP kind of hanging with us a little bit, I think. So he may have uh, he may have thwarted off some enemies. So, uh, but yeah, it's good we didn't have any. There There wasn't that many people on uh, TMP anyway tonight. So I guess all the kids had to go to bed. So, anyway. so beast hung out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sure enough, did so. Uh, so thank you there. Appreciate that, Mike Brown. The five dollars there, man. Appreciate it, buddy. As always, man. Peace out, Randall. Uh, as well, Alex, Jeff, good night to you, all you guys. So everybody in chat, tell them all goodbye, and we'll see you guys Tuesday in our next live stream. Later, you two. Later. Bye. Peace out. Bye. See you guys. Take Peace. care. Yeah.